Sean, why don't you grab a seat here? Hey, Sean, why don't you fucking take a seat here? Man? We're here with uh, my roommate, Tommy, my adult roommate, Tommy Pope. My male adult roommate. It looks like we're visiting our old grandpa. Look <laughs> like, at uh, An old folk home. <laughs> He's sitting there. Tell us. <laughs> this is nice. It's not that, but you seem so embarrassed about yeah, it. I don't know why. It's good. You're yeah, uncomfortable. Nice. It looks like he's sitting in like a dunk tank. He's very <laughs> uncomfortable. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Just relax, dude. You're yeah, just producing. Relaxed. You're it's producing, bro. I know. I'm very relaxed right now. I know. I can tell. He's producing. What's up? Chilling, bro. The fuck's up with you? So ready, for the cam- ready for the camera? Ter- what? It's dark in here. I know, dude. I can't see a fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> the production stinks. <laughs> Right Thank before we started, for the camera that. cut on, I was like, Shane, don't ever fucking go anywhere. Ever f-. It's like, oh, hey, guys, what's going on? Sean, let's lock him up. <laughs> don't ever fucking go anywhere. Fucking, everybody makes me sit the other way. <laughs> um, so how have you been, Matt? I haven't spoken to you. Dude, I've been fighting the effects of um, You're long, long COVID. Dude, yeah. My long hauler, dude. It's, I, I'm telling you, I'd love to, I would love to have been like... I, my plan was to be like, yeah, God, I didn't even fucking notice it. I got fucking... I'm fine. It's just I keep coughing. Yeah, I'm nervous, nice, dude. Bro. I got it. It was fine, but that's fine. That's what I wanted. That's well, what that's... I wanted. But here's what happened, dude. I there was there's been a uh, development. There's been a development. <laughs> I've been researching treatments because you know there's no treatment for really, there's no treatment for COVID really. There's, yeah, there, there, yeah you there's... can't. There's no protocol for outpatient treatment. It's yes. just you know take the thing. <clears throat> you know, hopefully it works. Can't really speak on it. I don't want YouTube fucking you know. Yeah, you don't talk COVID, dude. I'm not talking COVID. I'm just talking about there's no outpatient treatment that I know of you can do. Okay. So I looked some stuff up, and apparently in, in the papers, dude, in the, in the literature, there's promising stuff about cannabinoids. I just saw a headline. I said, oh, you know what? Cannabis. Yeah. So I said, you know what? Because it, you know. Weed, man. You, you smoke weed, right? Or you do mushrooms? I don't, I, don't, I don't really smoke that much anymore. However, now that I have What's to. What's that much? Like, I, well, smoking specifically, I don't. I was more of an edible dude for a while. And then the How bit. often are you high off your ass? In the last couple months, really, maybe like once or twice. I can. Oh, in the last couple months, you got high lot. once or twice. Not a lot. That's, yeah. That's it. Oh. Like I mean, like. Oh, you got those. Like, like, no, this how cake about cake. a little bit? Oh, a little bit high, fifteen times. Okay. Not bad. That's nothing. That's nothing. What's that? Ten milligrams. Yeah, well, you know, or the pen, just kind of puffing away on the pen. My That's nothing. just gave me three fifty milligrams. If you want one. Three hundred fifty. No, three fifty milligrams. Who gave them to you? Just this dealer. A you have dealer? a dealer? You have a, I, got a, I got a guy. Edible dealer? You don't have a dealer. I got a dealer. I got a Since mushroom when? guy. A what? weed guy. I can get you anything. Wait, I, can get you fucking, what? I can get you a gun in 25 uh. minutes. <laughs> you have a, you have a when did you get a dealer, edible? dude? I've had a dealer for years. You bro. got a secret dealer? Yeah. Well, I knew about some dealers. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they were so weird. Yeah. I knew there were some contacts in other and, departments. And it expanded into the mushrooms. Oh, yeah, nice. Mushroom and he gave me a free, you know, the freeze-dried uh, air seal package. Yeah. He's like, try these. That always impressed me. Matt had it. Matt had one of those things. The what? When you one sold those these? sealed things, the oh, yeah. sealing the package. Oh yeah, yeah. The I saw that. I was like, I this guy's legit. I just ran out of mushroom pills. I need a new batch because I've started doing the two, three to five a day. I get you. Yeah. <laughs> Are you doing it every day? You're gobbling. I did it. I did it for two weeks. I did three to five. A day. You gobbled. Yeah. You got to take days off, dude. Oh, you do. They're gonna stop working at all. Oh, what do you do? You, you do the Fatiman protocol, dude. One day on, three days off. <laughs> I don't fucking or know. Or you do the Stamets stack. Stamets stacks five days. You off, either do Fadamon or Stamets, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I know. Wait, I, you recommend, not know? I recommend the Fadamon <laughs> protocol. Fadamon There's no protocol. directions on the bottle he gave me. Fadamon protocol. And that's three on, one off? Two on. Or no, one on, two <laughs> off. Fucking eyes are burning. <laughs> it's fucking. The smoke is so Dude, it's smoke. <laughs> it's like deep <laughs> oven smoke, oh. too. I feel yeah. like I'm in a fucking coal mine. Yeah, it's a fucking. We're working at a diner. Yeah, there's a. No, Noah. No, stop picking the cheese. The cheese. <laughs> <laughs> is but the yeah. cheese in frame? 
Yeah, we gotta get. The only time the kid smiles when he gets a piece of meat in his hands. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, I. uh, Are you still sick? I feel I feel better now. This I'm telling you, dude. So I was doing some research. I'm going through the literature. You good? Deep comprehensive analysis of the literature. Like we all now we all do deep comprehensive analysis of, of course. The literature. Dude, I can't read more than one paragraph. <laughs> Anything I'm like now. So yeah, I'm reading. I tried that. to read a book this weekend. Did you really? What'd you read? Three pages, went to bed. I couldn't even read Rogan's post. Like, you know, he has sometimes he has yeah. like two or three paragraphs. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. I forget what I already ta- started reading. Don't you dare disrespect my best friend. <laughs> True. Don't you fucking True. dare. That's dude. so funny that I was telling him like the wrote you shared one clip. Like the, oh, he yeah. went in, in like three short months to his first episode was like very quiet and <laughs> nervous yeah. a little bit. Last episode, he's like, shut the fuck up, Joe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're pissing me off. <laughs> yeah, now he's yeah. up Rogan's ass. <laughs> no, Rogan's dude. Don't that was a joke. That's that was like fun. my yeah. best friend. I was doing, I was doing, shut the fuck up and follow no, the signs. Of course. Yeah. It was hilarious. No, you're exactly right though. The first time I did Rogan's, I was like, <laughs> Crap's World. It was a textbook of Crap's World. <laughs> Remember the first time you did comedy podcasts way back when? And like I'd be on like, you know, somebody's podcast and I'd just sit there and be like, should I talk? In my head it was like, should I talk now? Should yeah, I- yeah, yeah. Oh, this would be funny about that thing. But that was kind of long ago. They said that. Of <laughs> sat there the whole time like. <laughs> yeah. uh, go Fuck. back and listen to. Now Dude. you're just eating cheese in a smoke den. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whatever comes up, comes up. Listen to how we. Uh, <laughs> listen to how we used to talk. If you listen to an old episode, we yeah. changed the way we speak. Yeah. When we first started, it'd be like, "Dude, I was thinking about uh, the fucking, <laughs> a thing about this thing." Uh, <laughs> Every time I catch an old clip, I listen to it. On the, I usually do it on the toilet, and I go, "Jesus." We sound Christ. totally different. You sound like I sound like a fucking idiot. We both sound like complete fools. What are you seven years ago? Probably six or seven years. Yeah, six think, years. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Jeez, time flies mm. when True. you're having crippling anxiety every day. <laughs> <laughs> time flies <laughs> when every week is the same. Yeah, you do a podcast, and you're like, "What the fuck did I say?" Yeah, time flies when you're actively destroying your life and legacy <laughs> for Patreon money. <laughs> yeah, real I mean, short shit, term. I black out every night. I forget half yeah. half those seven years. Yeah, I was getting banged up. Movie. I had to. I took it east this weekend. Did you really? And I didn't have fun. What? I had to do stand up without drinking. You got to do it. You got to have one or two beers. That's what I. That's what I said. It doesn't do anything to your body. Two beers. Uh, two beers is the medical limit. The doctors say. Yeah, yeah. that's the stuff that's good for you. That's in the, the literature. Yeah. They're like drink three glasses of wine. It's good for the polyphenols. It is. I think about You're that. I heard that. Fu- I heard that study got day. funded. In- I heard that study. About big wine. I think. Well, I heard it, they found that they were like, "Yo, we arranged the data in a way that makes it look like if you have two drinks, it's good for your health." And like they pitched that study to alcohol companies, and they're like, "Do you guys want this info?" Yeah, we'll sell you this. Study. Well, they're I like, believe it, so I it's trust not the fucking, science. I, um, it's not like you know. Could be. Could be the case. I'm it not could, drinking like Russian booze wine. Yeah. Could be the socialization aspect though. So the what? Could be just like the fact that people who drink hang out with, and have pals. Yeah, that True. might help you. True. Significantly. Yeah. I but think, unless you're you know, getting hammered and fighting everybody every night, <laughs> toss in a little, toss in a little difference <laughs> a little of opinion. Bit. No big deal. <laughs> so I, I took, I tried not to drink this weekend in Tacoma, Washington. <laughs> Was that a little jab at me for uh, our our temperature? Oh, conversation not at all. Last night? Not at all. But the temperature conversation has been slightly, <laughs> yeah, slightly solved. Even though I'm sure you don't believe me. <laughs> It's like, yo, every once in a while, Tom will crank the thermostat up as far as it goes. It's to activate the water tanks. Tom believes, and I, I'm i not saying you're wrong. Well, I am saying you're wrong now. I, I wasn't sure. So our, it's it's an old shitty place. So the thermostat the whole way up yeah. just means on. Okay. Either the either the radiators are on or off. There's gotcha. It doesn't matter. That's, that was the old way of thinking. I Galileoed out. I came in. I said, "Here's some new theories," and I was crucified last night. Wait, you got, I was not. <laughs> you I came have radiator in. heat. You have radiator yeah. heat. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I came in here last night, it and it was like it that. was a nice. sauna. It's nice. It was. I was having a good time. Piping hot. He was I came for in. three days. I, I, I adjusted my body temperature, the temperature internally. And you, you know, got plant. You got plants. In I got there plants. Too. To he take does. Care of. That was he the did girls bring that get up. it. Me and the girls get it good when he Shane's did. on the road, dude. <laughs> <laughs> even the pe- dude, even the the plants are back there sweating like meat. <laughs> it was. He did bring that up. It was like the plants. It's gonna be me and the plants. <laughs> it's tr- tropical Look, climate. Look, it's just like mushrooms. Got to give him three days good. Stuff. I hear you. Two days not. True. So I came in and it was. I was like. In my head, I was like, I know the th- the thermostat's the entire way up. Because I was like, this has been an ongoing discussion. Uh, yeah. Whether it's on or off, or there's some levels to it. Yeah. I'm, I'm more of a there's some levels to it guy. 
You think it's a continuum? Yes. So I came in. I think it's a spectrum. So I came in. I said, in my mind, I was like, the thermostat's the entire way up. This place is 900 degrees. I walk over, check, of course, it's the entire way up. Dude. I was like, dude, it is so you, hot. You here. have he was to like, do what? that. And then he was so <laughs> mad that I, that I said it was too hot. No, because it, I don't think it was. I, but maybe my body adjusts. When, is there numbers? Soon as, or you guys just have like a dial? No, there's it's numbers. numbers it but sets it to I'm 100 telling, degrees. I'm telling you, it, does. it didn't matter. I've been here for fucking eight years, nine years. And never has that thing adjusted to a certain temperature. Until today when I showed up. <laughs> but, but, Until this morning when I said, well, here's I'm, how it works. I'm talking about, so upstairs doesn't activate. Get your They're, fucking hands off me. <laughs> the upstairs doesn't activate until you get to like yes. 72 And that or is true. Like that. And the upstairs neighbors, we control their heat. So they would text us and be if like, we hey. we don't get to a certain number on there, yeah. they can't turn their heat on. And, yes. So what? once, yeah. It's a fucking hundred year old building. I know someone who had something like that, and then the Pico came out, or whoever came out, it was changed. Like, you it? don't got no. They were like, you don't have to pay, like your electric bill at all. What? Like, you're not. I wonder if they that. didn't have to pay for heat. You probably don't. Well, they're not supposed to. When there was an Irish bitch in the basement, she she started lumping all her shit together, yeah. and I was getting a real high bill. And I'm like, I don't think you're splitting this up three ways. And it turns yeah. out that Dago was. He was getting in my ass yeah, with the that, money. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old man was fucking me yeah, over. He probably saw a young Italian. He probably had to take yeah. a little bit off yep. the top yeah. of him. Yeah, you, like, you got to oh, think. Gotta, you got to give him yeah, a yeah. bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> let's go back to the uh, the battle. There was a battle last night. It wasn't much of a battle. There was no. Listen, we're very good with showing our chest and moving on. Yes. Chris, not good. Chris, no. He, he would will have elevate. Sulked. You guys bare teeth at each other last oh, night. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> No, we just yeah, we're yeah. two alphas respecting each other's stance. True. Yeah. You say a couple things, gritted teeth. You show eyes like this. I hear you. Yeah. And there's... then uh, <laughs> and it doesn't it doesn't elevate because it's like talking to your dad going, I got it. The message yeah. is is there. I don't have any other ill will feelings and, and I don't I'll... have a hidden agenda. I'm not a passive yeah. aggressive bitch. If I had an issue there, I could be like, <laughs> wait, there's one while well, I am sometimes. No, but, no, but no. Not I was just saying that was that was a bit of a passive <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? That was a bit of a passive aggressive shot at O'Connor. <laughs> well, he's not here, so I can't Yeah. Hold well, on, Chris, let me, Chris let me ele- will elevate something and he'll say he'll insult you. <laughs> so hold on. So uh, this, this also helped the the tension. This built the tension. Tom's been chilling for a couple of days, no roommates. Mm. When you're chilling by yourself, no uh, roommates, the second someone walks in the door, you're just like, fuck. A hundred percent. All right. So he's upset about that. Because now you're in my vibe. I just flew across the country all day, landed on a tarmac, had to sit there for another hour for some de-icing bullshit. Then I have to go wait for my bag for another fucking 45 minutes because JFK is a nightmare. Damn. So then I get into the house and it's 900 degrees. So we're both we're both coming in with a little extra fucking also, I'm not happy. It's yeah. just me here. I can fix the temperature really quickly and then I give you the remote and you got your time. Yeah. I fixed the temperature. <laughs> I was handed the remote. I turned it off. I said, I'm going to bed. So what, what's the deal? <laughs> So let's let's well, let's get this correct. I'm saying now, the option was yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now I was trying to make you comfortable. It was. How's the how's the temp go now that there's like a new understanding about? Well, we'll see. Day one, baby. This is day is it really? one. Yeah. So this morning I got up. Usually, and, when you and don't burn it. the house down, it's a lot easier to regulate. Yeah, yeah. I said it correct. Shout out GF. And I showed. I said, look, I set it to like 70. You can see it's on. It's not pumping, but it's on. <laughs> yeah. I can't and then we and then we shook it. hands. We stood right here, <laughs> shook hands, said the dispute is finished. Yeah, it was like if two bears actually shook paws. <laughs> you guys are like some like Dust Bowl Kentuckians. Like, <laughs> well, we had to sell this. Out, you're, you're on to something there. I'll tell you what. Yeah. this behind us. You know, I, he made a smart remark about it, but there is a, there is a, <laughs> there is somewhat of a joy of living with an adult at this age because you really do learn a lot about life and you learn patience in many ways that you can then take it into your next relationship where you live with a woman. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully and when have a woman, a family. when you finally settle down with a woman, yeah, no, because you'll just be like, dude, my that was nothing what I was dealing with my adult. No, compared to a woman, a hundred. You're just gonna be like, that. I've lived with six women. Yeah, dude, it's it's not this rules. It's smoke and mirrors, dude. Uh, you guys are having like a disagreement between men. You go if you're doing like, oh, I'm gonna move in and I'll I'll take some of what I learned with like adult men and move it towards women. Doesn't apply. Doesn't. Mm. None of it applies, dude. Yeah, you're going to a, it's just. It's fantasy. crazy how much it's more a fantasy realm, dude. I am with a man as opposed to a woman. How good? Like, I could just go, yo, it's my bad, dude. I was fucking. Yeah. I was mm-hmm. out. Of, I was out of my pocket last night. Yeah, there's like a law. It's all right. I, there's a law that states that, like, not like a. It's more of like a, you know, like a law of the universe, like physics laws. Like if like 
six women plan something and do it, two of them are going to like fucking freak out. <laughs> like, they can't Wait, plan. Physics? Yeah, they can't yeah, plan. Like, they're like, we're going to Nashville. Yeah, they can't plan a trip for more Three than like, seven Three of them will people. be like, it's too expensive. <laughs> she knows I'm short on money. That, <laughs> yeah, right. that bitch is doing this on purpose. Dude. Yes. It, yes. They can't plan a thing for seven. If you have seven chicks, like, all right, all of you guys go do the same thing. Go. It's just like, who the fuck did she think? Yeah, she, yeah. she had to wear those shoes. She knows <laughs> I wanted those. <laughs> Sean, could you do me a kindness? Could you fix me up a nice meat and cheese cracker? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Luck of the draw. I'd like to see what you come up with here. Okay. It will be critiqued. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> you sure? That's good. All right, it's a cracker. Don't go, Pat. Uh, Don't go, Pat. Uh, those aren't no, 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 no. That's those for children. Pets. That's salam. Oh, dude. it is. All right. Salam is for adults. Brzeu. Oh, I like. Is brzeu. there any? Uh, I like the brzeu. mustard in there. Oh my god, no mustard. No. Yeah, where would you? Yeah, you can put mustard. Um, right? Go Munster. Far you know left. what? Here's what I was thinking yeah. that I didn't get to talk about last podcast. Far right when we got done that night, I watched the. Kanye West. I've never experienced the buzz of nicotine. I've it's just no, nausea like, for me. I, anytime I try Would to smoke, like it makes me want to barf. This is good. Like, what? This is good. Nah, I'm, it's experience it. It's reality. <laughs> <laughs> Do you it, have to spit it out? No. no. Put it in your upper lip. Put it in my upper lip. Yeah. Like, and then what? And you just let it sit there. There's only three milligrams. This is the yeah. same amount of nicotine as one cigarette. Oh, it's, it's not, not bad. You get a buzz. If you get a nick buzz, I'm into exo- like. I don't want to demonize any substances anymore. You know yeah, true. I mean? so, and we're live. Other than, <laughs> other than heroin, by the way. No, all I, can, all I can't get over it, dude. I keep last. Oh, so yeah. last night we filmed at night. So we got done at like two. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm going to drive by Kensington and Allegheny to see what's going on. Dude, it is. I can't stop talking about it. Yeah. It's a disaster. It's fucked up. It's a real national state of oh, emergency. Yeah. Like a FEMA. Yeah. FEMA needs to come. Would in. you blame they heroin try. or the prohibition of heroin for that? I blame the Sacklers and Purdue Pharma, the pharmaceutical companies. Yeah. What they did is. It's crazy. They is destroyed it. Just burn my mouth? Yeah, it'll burn. Yeah, it's, so, it's, it's, it's going to feel, feel good. You're going to like it. <laughs> yeah, when does the pledge kick in? <laughs> the pledge is the pain, dude. <laughs> it's just like eating hot pepper. <laughs> it's pleasure or pain, dude. Yeah. You, it's, just spit it out. If you, no, it's not for everybody. Some guys don't like stuff it. like this. I don't want to denounce nicotine unless I've tried nicotine. Nicotine's good. The, uh, but yeah, it's it's the sacks for it's sure. Like stuck up in my gum. It fucking hurts. Yeah. I got a couple funny teeth I don't want it to touch. What do you mean? Just like Yankee boys, I got to get to the dentist. Really? Yeah, I got to get to the dentist. I'm 40, bad, bro. dude. I've been so good at the I dentist. I got some problems. You got some problems? Dude, I've been a good boy at the dentist, and I they they've been praising me every time I go there. I didn't go for like eight years, and they were like, "What the fuck?" And I had four cavities, and then I didn't go for a while after that. But recently, I've been dentist right down the street. Skipped bro. an appointment this morning. What? Wow! You go you go to the dentist that often? Hmm. You know, this, was, this was going to be my tr- my triumphant return to the dentist. You're proud of your son. I was going to go back, and I told Dan I'm going to do whatever <laughs> they say. I'm not going to like put my own two cents in. Yeah. I'm gonna go get whatever pool needs to get, but I'm not just, fluoride treatment. That's I say hell no. Obviously, like you have fluoride, fucking but hell I've no. been putting off getting my wisdom teeth pulled since I oh, was eighteen. Oh shit! You still got your? I've sideways wisdom teeth, Fuck. and they do nothing but trap food, and make my breath stick. You got rabbit teeth in there? Yeah, I got like little rabbit teeth in the back of my mouth. Bro, that's terrible. That's gonna stink when you have to get them. And out. I gotta get them pulled. Now it won't stink because they're gonna give me nitrous for like three hours. Yeah, I opted dude. for no anesthesia, just straight nitrous. Brittany had to do this. That's gonna hurt. What? Why don't you take the anesthesia? Direct experience. Bro, Brittany had to do this. Br- what? Brittany, I've learned Brittany's like allergic to anesthesia in the, in that she wakes up during it. Yeah, of course. So she, Dude, she pops up. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> of course, that's the answer. I'm like, wait, why wouldn't you do the thing that's easy? Direct experience. Direct experience, obviously. Go ahead. What are you saying? <laughs> I don't know. That means the only time, hopefully, I'm going to get teeth pulled. So I kind of want to know what it's like to get my teeth pulled. I mean, yo, you'll be chilling. You're going to get your teeth pulled eventually. Brittany had to do this, dude. They, dude, when they put you down, they give stuff you- stuff is so hot. They give you ketamine. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they give you ketamine. They give you a hot shot, gives you ketamine? <laughs> when they put you down, that's part of the cocktail. It's ket. What? It's ketamine and then like two other things that just knock you completely out. So you get into a K-hole. But you don't remember. They're, they black uh, you out. But Brittany- Have you ever tried ketamine, Shane? I did some ketamine in London. How was it? Last it? Like two weeks ago, I did some ketamine. Nice. How was it? I did a very small amount. So, so I did, you didn't get But no I K-O. had done it once before, but I was a little drunk when I did it, and it was great. It was really fun. Cat was nice. It was yeah. just kind of fun. That's tight. What happened? 
it's really hard to explain. You're just. It's ineffable. I don't know. I can't explain it. I, I, I'd have to Google what the exact, how to describe it is. Yeah, I don't know. Because it is Never like a, it. what's the word? It's like a social, like you, you get very. Social like, lubricant? Disassociative. Yeah, disassociative. Fuck. But it's good. <laughs> but it's a good, <laughs> dis- like. Ding. Yeah. It's disassociative. So is nicotine know. just supposed to make your mouth hot for a little while? Take it out. No, I, I want to experience it. I'd rather you're ruining my experience. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You're dude, I'm sorry, belly I'm aching. Sorry. You're belly aching. I'm not is belly affecting aching. my I'm reality and my fucking proto space. I'm seeking Nick knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> your shit. I'm seeking Nick knowledge. You're ruining. I like Nick it. Knowledge. I like it. Like I feel a little more clear headed. Yeah, yeah right. Feel, I kind of had like a little. It feels like I like drank a little bit of a coffee. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I think I'm hooked. <laughs> just keep doing it cigarettes would be cool i might start smoking cigs cigs make you cool smoke beaties i tried i bought a pack of beaties not that long ago yeah. just to see what they were like and they, they fry so my throat what are beaties? So, when good. we were kids like they wouldn't sell us cigarettes but like the like um indo pack supermarkets would sell us beaties and they're these little brown cigarettes they look like joints and you can smoke them they're so harsh they're like tiny they're cigars. so harsh like mm. you feel like you have strep throat after you smoke two <laughs> yeah I mean, they're probably not even tobacco. It's probably just like fucking. It's probably just ope or something. Could be ope. So you did ket. I'm interested in trying ketamine. Do it. I will. I just have it it come across me. Did you insufflate it or did you? I insufflated. Did you shoot shoot intramuscular? (laughs) No, I insufflated. John Lilly. I insufflated. (laughs) Insufflated and then disassociated. What was the dosage? The smallest bump, a key bump. So I I didn't do enough to. So your ROA was insufflation. Dosage was threshold. Yes. But it wasn't I'm me. I'm just a scientist, so. But it wasn't me. <laughs> it was just, just it was Someone job. else, I know. What? Somebody else did this, not me. Swim. Swim did this. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who isn't me. Someone who isn't me did ketamine in London two weeks and ago. And liked it. And, and had a good time again. And would tell other people to tell people that aren't them to try it. To maybe give it a shot if you're interested. It's true. It's good. Because I don't think you can really, other than getting into a K-hole, which I think you have to do a fucking lot of. Yeah, it's cumulative. So you have to keep doing it. Yeah. And keep doing really? it and you'll get in the K-hole. Yeah. I've heard good things about ke- or, uh, ketamine from like a psychologist who was like, yeah, dude, he's like, I didn't like, I was kind of like whatever about it. And he's like, dude, I've had patients who do like clinical ketamine stuff. And he's like, it works really well. Yeah. Oh, don't, they, it's just don't they so prescribe it kind of to people? Yeah. They give it as like a therapeutic. But now. Th- yeah. He's like, dude, it's when you go to the, they shoot you with it at a place. And he's like, it's like four G's. He was like, I just tell He's like, yeah, you get hooked up to an IV yeah. and you just lay back. He was kind of like, fuck that. He's like, just, nah, go, just get, go get it off the street. He, well, he was like, if you can get like clean and test it. Yeah, he's like you get like clinical grade ketamine. He was like, dude, I've had people. He's like, and it was something I didn't want to like. And I was like, damn, I can't deny this. That's pretty cool. I've always been against it. Too. I'm I'm a big anti insufflation head. See, it's just my Reagan era training. Yeah, bro. it's your Reagan era training. Yeah. I just read um, drug use for grown ups. Sufflating rules. I never liked it, dude. I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> sufflating is my favorite part of the drug. I have to do is an ad read. The insufflation. I have to do, <laughs> have to do an ad read. <laughs> you guys have a second for an ad read? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Drug use for grown ups by Dr. Carl Hart. Yeah. They, available on Amazon. Oh, Barnes the good doctor. Doctor. Yep. Dr. Carl. <laughs> phenomenal book. The guy who does heroin with his wife. I mean, if you want to label him just as the guy, a guy is a I know. That fucking junkie that wrote a book. <laughs> He's a neuroscientist at an Ivy League. <laughs> that school. junkie that's smart enough to justify his addiction. He's not a junkie. He's not addicted. He's smart See, enough. You're to- confusing drug users with addictors. Like, <laughs> oh, that's what we were talking about—the Kensington thing. Yeah. So just because you use a drug doesn't make you an addict. Yes. True. To be an addict, you have to meet the di- the DSM criteria, which is you know, what's the DSM criteria for substance abuse? Creating problems in your life. Yeah. Constant cravings. Yep. Disrupting social response or social, your social life. And it's disrupting you from performing your responsibilities. Yeah. Other than that, Fuck you're just it. using I don't drugs. have any of that. Well, cravings. Cra- I mean, but it's when you. Cravings are like, I'd, I'd like to have a nice cold beer tonight. Yeah, but like it's when the criteria, like if you have one, like a criteria of psychosis. I can't think of any example of alcohol ruining a social thing for me. So, but like <laughs> the criteria for. <laughs> you serious for a second? That is why. Yeah, that was like. <laughs> it's like the right. montage would be like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just telling yeah. people they stink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> telling people they stink at comedy holds up. In hindsight, I am happy about most. Somebody of those. needs to do it. Most of those Someone's were funny. Do it. You most of those, especially in comedy, I do. The Blue Knight, uh, he takes over me. Unfortunately, I'm not a comedian. I'm not a funny guy. I'm not play that around. You're I'm a funny. serious dude. dude. You're funny. You're family you're, you're man. All business. You're, you're holding that mic. You're pretty comfortable science. holding the mic. I've seen you. You've been making the rounds. You promoting what? something? 
We got science. a book coming out. You've I trust been, science. You've been making the you podcast like, rounds. I have been making the podcast. I think everyone's just out of gas and they're like, let's call fucking Tommy. He's not doing <laughs> yeah, anything. Maybe. We need swim, dude. <laughs> He's not doing anything. I always like, it's always where people call me like, what's your schedule like? And I'm like, how do I tell this person I don't have a schedule? I'm like, uh, I could be there uh, Monday through Sunday pretty much any time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just take it out. Take it out. You've had it. No, I'm into it, dude. I kind of want, I might, this might be my new habit. Zim's I might nice. pick up a pack of smokes on my way home. Yeah. Don't get, don't get that. That'll fuck you up. Nicotine's just, just nicotine. Start growing. Yeah, but what's the LD50 on nicotine? It's probably like 28. 28? <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck these guys are talking about. <laughs> the lethal dose. The, oh, the lethal dose is oh, lethal it's dose, low, actually. The lethal nicotine. dose that kills 50% of the participants. Yeah, dude, LD50 on nicotine, pure nicotine will kill you. Yeah, yeah. what is the LD50? It's like, dude, I, I'm pretty sure it's like a little. Someone was telling me that if you well, take. I want the milligramage. I can't give it to you, but I can give you. I, I, bet, can, it, I bet it's wait, like. Wait, hold on. We're getting this. It's got to be like 600, 700. Now that I'm using nicotine, you? I think I could be a podcaster because I'm so clear right now. <laughs> you are. Podcaster. How many? The LD50 of nicotine. Um, is uh 30 60, no, 60 milligrams. milligrams 60 milligrams that's the not ROA? True. it's true dude I feel like nicotine's highly true. poisonous Does it I've, give had, you the- I've had not not lucy's lucy's nicotine is good yeah but nicotine yeah. nicotine's it, nicotine as don't a pure, molecule shame <laughs> no no as, as a pure as a pure molecule it's actually poisonous <laughs> like if you eat it's like you know there's some things like toad venom is technically a poison but yeah well they say chill. the difference in a poison and a medicine is dosage true it's very different. It's it says there, that's controversial. It says there's a new value ranging from 500 to a thousand. Yeah, by written by Philip. Yeah, are we talking about yeah, that'll kill you Marlboro. on the spot because I go through 60 milligrams pretty daily. No, but they're yeah, talking about you, like day. having that much at once in your yeah, body. Dumb. Like if you ate that oh, entire okay. pack of Zin, would it kill you? No, no. What'd you get? Oh, true. I'm set. Three milligrams per kilogram of body weight. Yeah pretty fucking high that's a lot yeah that's high would okay. kill you yeah three that dude that's a lot at dude. once though so you'd have to put it's the 300 whole, milligrams but you'd also have or to no, 600 milligrams you it wouldn't trash my heart yeah but i'm saying you would have to have that much enter your system at once yeah. so your roa would have to be intramuscular Wasn't there a or guy who just died from taking caffeine pills yeah, it would kill you. No, there's a dude who was taking like bodybuilders say caffeine as a supplement, and the guy misread. The, he, they order like lin, like clinical grade pure caffeine. They dump it in their pre workout mix, and this guy misread what he was supposed to do and did two full scoops when he needed like a teaspoon and just seized up, died on the spot. What a shitty way to in die. Australia, yeah, that was ejected. Yeah. Here's uh, an Australian. Yeah, Jack. Ah, yeah. yeah, that was, dude. He got like intensely hot. Could have been died. a vaccine death. No. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. Goodfellows. Not that vaccines cause death. That's been proven. Goodfellows yeah, star sure. died at 67. I wonder if he was beasted. <laughs> I wonder yeah. if Ray Check his got Twitter. the beasted. Check his Twitter. <laughs> Check his timeline. I'm triple vax and boosted. Are you triple vax and boosted? <laughs> I didn't even brush my teeth this morning. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is one experiment the McCuskers are not afraid to well, run. Uh, brush your teeth? Let's, let's just let... Dude, my life gets so <laughs> mad. Sleeping dogs me. lie on the teeth. <laughs> I always forget to brush my teeth. I do in the morning time. I It just slips my mind. It's I just, I wake up, I drink my coffee. Breakfast. What? You, I eat a delicious and breakfast. And then I start I doing tea. stuff. And yeah. like, if I'm not kissing anyone, I don't care. True. Yeah. But then when I go to kiss my beloved, she'll be like, dude, have you brushed your teeth today? And I'm <laughs> like, you don't, you don't, Matt, you don't have bad breath. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I have been brushing my teeth a lot because I've been showing you my guys kiss? Teeth. No, but we've been talking. Like what I said, we've yeah. been talking for. Sorry. Yeah, we're, we're, no, it's, it's fine. Um, no, it's fine. You've been together for a while. You're a funny guy. You're funny. I'm funny. I'm, I'm you a, get the mic in your hand. He's your funny guy. Yeah, yeah, he's I, the I oracle of comedy in the whole family. I know he is. Fed, dude. Fed you fed fuck with Fed on the job site? That motherfucker True. is funny. Fed is very funny. He's mean as fuck, too. Yeah, he's a motherfucker, dude. Kathleen is like, you're the meanest brother. I'm like, you've never chilled with Kevin one-on-one. He'll say some shit. I'm like, that's the meanest fucking thing <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> he's He'll hit me with some like, personal mean shit yeah. that's so fucking mean. What did he get you with last time? It's just constant. Like yeah. you say something to him, he'll fucking sm- he'll slam you so softly. Pause. That like <laughs> <laughs> you'll be like fuck. Like he'll call you out on the core of your personality <sighs> and just shred you to where you're like sitting in his truck. Like fuck. You gotta fight him. You can't. You have to fight. I don't think I've, I haven't fought in Kev since like '89. Yeah, true. <laughs> Me and Kevin had like a cold war for a long time as kids. <laughs> like where we were yeah, you guys were beefing for a while. We were doing proxy wars through Matt. It was a proxy war, but it was mostly like if he liked something, I had to hate it and like yes. the yeah. opposite. 
the whole, I've heard I this. pressured so hard into like it was like red hot. And chili then Matt would be the like our the judge. Yeah, so like, Matt, dude. does Dave Matthews suck? And Matt would be like, I'd be like, say yes, dude. That's probably why I don't like putting on music for anyone. Yeah, if I have to like show people a song. I'm like, I was riding. Silence. He was a big cornhead though. I was, dude. A boom, a that was a, a big boom, like biscuit a corn a kid rock. You meeting kid rock probably completed his life. I'd be that's I, I was genuinely excited. That's fair though. Me and Matt are the same age. And new those, metal that really took ruled. a yeah. new metal fight. The executioners, Limp Limp the executioners were so. so sick, like, I dude. was old enough to to like look at new metal from like an older kid perspective and think it was. Hence the reason I trashed Kid Rock for a second and then took it back. True. Have you seen Kid Rock's new stuff? True. Yeah, that his Let's Go Brandon thing was really moving. His, his, his yeah, shit's important. You gotta see his new stuff. What he's doing right now is. Yeah, important. what he's doing right now about. It's for the culture, bro. Yeah, it's for, it's for Joe Biden and the president and him supporting Trump's huge. I think, I mean, is he supporting? Is yeah, he Trump married? speaks at his concert. There's a preloaded tape of Trump talking. But, dude, how old is how old's the kid? Kid Rock's probably 46. Bro, you can't nah, be, he might be old. He's older than that. No, nah, I bet you Kid Rock's not 50. He's for sure. Make a bet. I bet you Pack is in. I bet you Kid Rock's 50. Bet you Pack is in. He's for sure Deal. 50. Me and Kid Rock both went to our high school graduations. Completely Kid Rock's what? 54. Fuck, yeah, what's that stuff around? I'm kind of broke. Six bucks. Oh, I got you. <laughs> That's two. I'm going to pick up two. I'll pick up two packs. Of Lucy's. Grab me some Lucy's. Home. Lucy, yeah, not Zen. Yeah, Would you give sure. me Lucy? Yeah. All right. Nice. What was the milligramish? Three? Three. Three. I had to knock it down. I was doing six. You might have to go on Arrowhead. I was crushing milligrams. ROA oral? Yes. Cool. Right. <laughs> legal. Root of administration. It was a, it was a U.S. What? legal. Is that root of administration? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> You should have seen the root of administration down on Allegheny last night. Oh, God. I was, I drive down there. Everything, everything they could find. I watch, I drive down there and I slow down because I'm like, whoa, this is fascinating. I was watching an older woman inject what I assume to be heroin. I don't want to assume anyone's molecules (laughs) into another woman's neck. Yeah, Yeah, dude. Could have been speed. I don't know. You can see that. So I've done this three times this week. I've driven what? down there three Interrain times. Interrain heroin? Slowly. Uh, no. Oh, just driven down. Sorry, you know dude. Yo, about. we're just talking. I've dim- driven down there. <laughs> Stop goofing. I know you want to be a big shot. You want to be like your brother. You want to be a big shot. <laughs> you see you see your brothers on the Patreon. That's true. I see that money, man. Yeah. Oh, man. The comments. They get big, the dollar signs. That's what I want everyone to call me gay. Yeah, true. We're gay for We're literally gay for pay. They truly... I saw like you, they're all injecting yeah. all of them. It's the only yeah. way to go at that they're point. They're all injecting. You have to. And like into wounds. In wherever. Into, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's fast. Um, Kevin has a house down there. Yeah, dude. My and brother bought a one house. One time like, he had to move a bunch of sheetrock in there and he was like, yo, watch the truck. So I sat, it was the only, I've only driven through. Yeah. I got to sit there for 45 minutes and just watch it all go down. It was insane. It's fucked up. Dude, These I finally dudes, saw a video that, Escalade hitting that dude. What? Like, there, some dude drove his Escalade 100 miles an hour into the train stop, into the wall. There was a fucking junkerman standing out what there. What if he was listening to Ludacris <laughs> move, bitch, get out the way? While he's doing <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Wait, what happened? A dude crashed his Escalade. 100 into a wall. What? His Escalade obviously exploded on impact, but there was a junker, a junkerman was standing there. <laughs> junkerman. <laughs> Shout out, Burke. Burke calls him Junkermans. It's about as funny as it gets. We'd be funny. driving to, through looking for him. We'd be like, Junkerman, where are you? <laughs> I don't see the Junkerman. His Come out, Junkerman. Yeah. Yeah. Burke's Wait, so hilarious. Ponties. He crashed his car. Yeah, you found some Ponties. Was the Escalade, <laughs> was the escalade driver on her, on? I, no, if you're going 100, you're not on heroin, he's probably. probably on, uh, he's probably on Hawaiian He's ice. probably on stims. Yeah. yeah, he's probably stimmed. Might have been late as hell. Dude, speaking of escalates. <laughs> but you got to see this junkerman walk it, like, walking in a circle for like 10 minutes, standing there. He lights up. He did get one final light. Oh, thank God. And then a fucking spaceship in light speed talking about all these dudes, Andrew probably. Tate, all that shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this, thing fucking, this thing hears me complain about drinking all the time. I'm getting like fucking alcohol <laughs> rehab <laughs> shit. <laughs> It's like your your skin's probably being destroyed from alcohol. Here's what you can do. It's like oh, Jesus Christ. That's so the most funny. interesting man, dude. Real man, self development plan. Dressed like a fucking cocksucker. Dressed like Walt Whitman. He's dressed like a, a barber at Walt Whitman. <laughs> yeah. He's dressed like an old timey barber with a long beard. Going it's day one, how to talk to anyone. Eighteen minutes. You need to focus for eighteen minutes on day one on how to talk to anybody. That's what you need to do is go around and talk to everybody. It is a sick move, though, to be like, all right, nothing's working for me. I'm going to dress like I'm from the 1800s and see yeah. what's up, dude. And and how to talk to anyone. Here's how. Be retarded. <laughs> you can walk up to anybody. <laughs> 
Go to the park. <laughs> walk directly up to someone. Oh. Day two, the power of habit. That's 20 minutes. You need to focus yeah. on a habit. Uh, day three, the four-hour body. That's probably, I don't know. Day four, here's yours. Rich dad, poor dad. Yeah, Isn't no. that a classic <laughs> fucking retard? Yeah. Sorry, I'm saying retarded I a lot. I told my dad, I was I read Rich dad, poor dad. I'm like, dad, I figured it out. I'm just going to buy assets and I'm not going to have to work. And he was like, how much assets cost you, idiot? And I was like, what? Uh, I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, I can just get a loan for a house. And he was like, yeah, dude, you need like $20,000. And I was like, dude, what about fuck. day six? The power of fuck now. You, dad. The power of now. Also, the 10 times rule. Unlimited money. 12 rules for life. Limitless. <laughs> Think and grow rich. It's another book. Day 12. Quiet. Why don't you shut up? You don't need to go talk to everybody. Be the quiet guy. Nice. Think and grow rich. The 80 20 principle. The five love languages. <laughs> oh, I'm a pinky blinder. I listen to audiobooks about the five love languages, <laughs> what, mate. What was the, uh, what the, was the 5 first- a.m. club? Get ready. Get You're in. about to join it. the 5 a.m. club. I was in the 4 a.m. club today. I was in the 5 a.m. club today fucking putting lotion on my herpes. <laughs> <laughs> Day, uh, here's a good one. Day 18. Elon Musk. <laughs> just Elon Musk? <laughs> it just says Elon Musk. You need to learn about Elon Musk. Obviously. You want to be a Peaky Blinder? Learn about space travel. <laughs> Day 20. Steal like an artist. Day 21, having a five-inch dick is actually kind of sick if you think about it. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, no, day 21's inner engineering, which is probably similar. <laughs> Fuck this, dude. How to do nothing. I got that. Day 23, how to do nothing. <laughs> that that did you just film me. Having an average penis is actually really sick if you think about it. Day 25, joy at work. I mean... The first, the, the first picture you sent me was the funniest one. The how to the, I can't the, find the it. guy who's just standing there like this, and it's like in a full piggy blinders. I also started getting uh, dressed like a school shooter. People I would be it, definitely interested. Be like, yo, what the fuck's up with that? I guy? watched it so many times that now my algorithm on Instagram reels is dudes normal dress, holding the camera, no. walking back, peaky blinders. No, wait, that exists. That exists. Yeah. There's a world of peaky blinders, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, I. I said last night, I was like, that's funny. I sent you the thing. You hit me back with like nine deeper levels of Peaky Blinder to the world. And I, dude, I literally, dude. I was shaking the bed laughing. And Peaky Blinder's like, groomsman. Click, go Google that Peaky Blinder's groomsman. That click images. Up. Just look at these dudes. Dude. And how sad it is. The, the main, this, oh my Let's God. See. And there's always a groomsman that's like, I have these fucks. Dude. You think one of them has definitely has razors in his hat? I mean, it's like, yo, whoa, dude, whoa, dude. He's doing the back holding an old hunting rifle. Uh, the main, look at the groom, dude. Who's the guy at front and center? Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> these. Uh, uh, God damn, dude. Someone got I would, I would, That's what happens when you get too much pussy at the Christian one. youth group camp. This is my favorite one. The kid, the kid, front right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He can't pull off the, He's a portly binder dude He's too fat <laughs> He can't pull it off When you hit me with the group I laid down last night Was shaking my bed laughing And I was I was had tears coming out of my eyes Imagining all the dudes Taking the pictures Of the Peaky Blinder groomsmen And I was like Brittany was going What are you laughing at And I had to get up And show her And she actually laughed Oh nice She laughed She went That's fucking crazy That's his uh, you, I mean I can't even imagine Like I would prefer a Star Wars. I would prefer if I was a groomsman and they're like this Star Wars. Yeah. I'd be like, that's pretty actually. That's funny. It, you're at least you're not trying to be cool. Yeah, if I, you're a Star Wars guy, and you're like, I want a Star Wars themed wedding. It's you know like, what's up? You know, everyone's gonna be like, you're a dumbass. <laughs> uh, but okay, it's your fucking thing. If you're a Peaky Blinders guy, you're trying to be a tough, cool whiskey guy. That's that's families where there's not a single funny person in the family. Yeah. The only place like, yo, you see those guys they're like Peaky Blinders, dude. <sighs> dude, we're tough. We're a tough family. We are. That reminds of that Very reminds me of us. From the streets of We're London. like the Shelby family from Birmingham post World War One. <laughs> those guys must have stunk <laughs> so bad too. The Shelby's? <sighs> yeah, they must have smelled like absolute dog shit. It's a real bummer because I used to like that show. <laughs> I watched. I liked the first two season seasons. one and two were sick. They were good. And fucking then got, what's his name was nice. And Tom it. Hardy. That was Tom sick. Hardy, as a fucking jacked mean Jew. That was tight. Yeah, he mean played Jew the shit Green. out of that. 
But I, uh, yeah, I kind of that show kind of lost me towards once Tommy started getting too big for his britches. I started going, all right. Yeah, I'll tell you who would be a nice Peaky Blinder who wants to be a Peaky who? Blinder. Boy downstairs. Oh, he wants to be a Peaky Blinder so bad, dude. <laughs> Tommy Pope wants to be. <laughs> he wants to be a Peaky Blinder. <laughs> He'll never, he'll never tell. He'll ne- I mean, he'll tell you. He'll say yeah, the yeah. show's all. He's right. The show is good. I'm not. Yeah, sure. I know in his heart of hearts, he wants, he wants, to t- he wants to be Tommy Shelby. Wants to be a blinder. He wants to toss that on. He'd be a blinder. Yeah, but that's the thing with Tommy. He deserves it. He let him throw on the Tommy Shelby gear. He could pull it off. He'd look good doing it. He'd be the most interesting man in the room. If he put yes. that on and stood there, and people would be like, "Fuck." Yeah. Girls would love him. Oh, I thought it was him coming up right now. It's the Chris man. What about Con? Oh, Con, you got to take a shower? No, we were just talking about the pig and the walnut, you fucking sack of shit. You fucking piece of shit. Pig and a walnut, you never dude. Question, you never question where the pig got the walnut. I don't care about the gotta, walnut. You just got to grab with the, the pig walnut. Personally. Isn't that the whole basis? <laughs> you know what the pig you're wants. You're trying to deflect from the walnut. Yeah, but you didn't know the walnut. That's the thing. But you isn't that the whole problem with this information? No. I'm familiar with the walnut. His argument was he knew word <laughs> for word the Second Amendment. <laughs> I and did. There I was, didn't. You vaguely remember. I was remember, close. I was pretty you close. You were close. I looked it up. at. The, I mean, we all had the phones. We, I looked it up. <laughs> what are What's the words? Like, all ye eagles can clutch Damn, I wait. I waited until you were talking about Tommy wanted to be a piggy blinder before I came in. Stuff and I was like, I'm Come out. Come yeah, here. the dude, price of a shower. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, Your dude. bathroom's still fucked up? Dude, the bathroom's dude. been fucked up for, it's yeah, insane. for a month. You got to rise up against the Greeks. <laughs> no, these are They're classic doing wops. Nice job, oh, man. really? I'm the sorry. The bathroom's going to be smell. nice. What? It's fine. Uh, yeah, that's true. they will definitely tie so, it up. Yeah. I actually, I actually, you didn't hear it. I did say, this is my side of the story. It, I was hammered. Yeah. Of course, I'm going to say they were wrong. Yeah. I was right. I did say that. Yeah. However, what I vaguely remember was the argument was that you were saying that actually the Second Amendment would not allow for rifles like this in everybody's hands. Yeah. And that there was some verbiage in the Second Amendment, which you then fake recited. <laughs> and I was the only one who knew I was, the pig. It was 3 a.m. I, I know, but I was the only one who knew the pig would lie about the walnut. <laughs> and it was, an it was an acorn. It was an acorn. And I was like, this isn't a walnut. And of course, Sam with his literary bullshit <laughs> fucking with me. <laughs> Sam with his big words. <laughs> you can go fuck off, dude. No, that's the way the argument goes is that there's that f- that framing know, statement. But yeah. whose argument? Just, I remember hearing People that. People who don't like the Second Amendment. Uh, yeah. 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 What? Uh, how was the Taco Bell post post that? Taco Bell was very good. Taco Bell was pretty good. And I and I was saying Taco. I was saying I was hammered and I didn't know the argument was as intense as it was. And then Chris gave me a hug in the lobby the next morning. I was like, "We're fine, dude. But God, we're hey. going to the game. <laughs> Get off." Dude, well, you were at the other <laughs> other end of the table going, "This is never going to happen again." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All and three of you were fired. Was, and, then, and then you went like, to oh, God. the thing and fought them about the stadium. Safe light. Safe life field. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude. oh man, let me see your hands. Yeah, I was let, like, me- let me see those callous dude, hands. Killer. You're fucking that's Ohio killer. working boys. <laughs> that's killer, dude. Dude, there was a lot of clenched fists in front of us. I was like, let yeah. me see those hands. That's awesome. A lot of clammy fucking clenched yeah, fists. Like, oh, I work in an office. Oh. He knows I work in an office in Ohio, dude. Yeah, like they didn't have their fucking. Newsy caps of razors. Dude. We could have, dude. Tommy, Tommy almost got him. He could have peaky blinded him. True. <laughs> How much does Tommy Pope want to be a peaky blinder? I mean, he would. I like man. Tell if you, you ever gave him the chance to dress like that, Halloween, dude, he could do it for be Halloween. In heaven. I know he does have heaven. the self awareness to not do it. Yeah, he does. Do you think he but, has a three piece hanging up though? In his mind, I. He's, <laughs> it's in he's the got closet. A, in his mind, he's got a tweed. <laughs> Three piece suit. <laughs> he goes to heaven. <laughs> he goes to his room and opens the closet. <laughs> monocle. That's hanging in there. Not a monocle. There's round glasses, <laughs> pinky ring, Jeff cap, <laughs> tweed suit. Dude. He's a peaky blind and an old hunting shotgun. Yeah, walking walking through like an auto plant with sparks flying and <sighs> yeah, stuff. Dude. Yeah, with yeah. his gold red hand. <laughs> 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 or whatever. 
Yeah. I do like when dudes galvanize around a thing, just being like, yeah, dude, that's fucking all. Dudes were Fight Club for like five I mean, that's, years. I, I've, I've fully galvanized. I forgot how much I love college. I forget how much I love college football. Yeah. The second yeah. it's on, I'm like, I love this so much. <laughs> that's the thing you're watching. I'm talking about like when you take fiction. I do it constantly with fictional characters. Like I'm that guy for like a yeah. month. But when there's like things that get into like osmos into like dude culture, mostly yes. office dude culture. Yeah. Office dudes get completely destabilized by like manly TV shows. Yeah, it's because they're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> I mean, that's the point of Fight Club. There's a guy in an office like, yeah. I'm only identifying by my IKEA table. That actually, doesn't represent a, me. Actually, I'm a warrior, dude. I'm fuck. actually a terrorist <laughs> against corporate greed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm cool and I fight. I'm not sucking. I'm not sucking the teat of the machine, dude. I'm actually a. I'm more of a warrior. fighter, an underground <laughs> fight club <laughs> guy. <laughs> that I then I make bombs. <laughs> no, I'm, you're not. I'm not just kind of like waiting for my parents to die so I can move in their house or whatever. I'm make like a fucking make the copy <laughs> and go to Safe Flight Field and shut your fucking mouth, dude. Oh yeah, did you tell that that guy who's like, I could buy and sell you guys. Ten what? Times See, I, I didn't recall that part. Yeah, yeah. I, I said he said something about his wealth. That's when we were like, "That's working. what he said." First no, he I, said he. First he I said he was making fun of us for being Notre Dame working or like rich kids. Yeah, well, he and then said I, that's when it was like, let me see. Oh, OK. Then it he was said, like, yeah. Well, how'd you get these tickets? Your daddy's law firm or go back to your daddy's law firm. Yeah, or yeah, something. yeah. So yeah. Like you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Notre Dame. That's the knock on Notre Dame fans because they're successful. Yeah. Okay, yeah. They're not trash from fucking <laughs> But then Ohio. he switched it and went total trust fund kid mode. Yeah. And was like, I could buy and sell you guys 10 times over. And then tacked on at that the end with mode. my own personal wealth. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, dude, why would you caveat it like that unless it was your dad's money? Yeah. That's 100% your dad's Man, money. That's it. modern Peaky Blinder energy, <laughs> dude. They use a Peaky Blinder. Those were four Peaky that's Blinders. That's Peaky and Walmart Those were Ohio stuff. fucking Peaky <laughs> Blinders. <laughs> They were fucking callous hands, Ohio working men that pulled their bootstraps off. <laughs> I, I've like interacted. I interacted with like, their hands. They both went like, <laughs> let me see those callous <laughs> hands. Dude. Yeah, yeah. They both started just rubbing them. Yeah, man. I've, I'll like interact like just every now and again. I'll kind of come up against the type of dude who would say that kind of thing. And I'm always just so fascinated, dude. Yeah. To be like, damn, there are dudes out here who are fully dude. like. My fucking family's name is a fucking I'm so secret. wealthy. Fucking family, that is the most. The family's, yeah. Who did they get engaged to? What's his fiance's name? <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude. Yeah, we had. Mom, where's grandfather's will? <laughs> we, my, my like sophomore year of high school, we had a kid on our team who got like kicked out of some prep school for just, you know, being an idiot. Mm. And uh, he was like a something. I don't want to say his name, but he was like the fourth. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And we got our asses beat by some upstate Connecticut team. And as the game was ending, he's like, you're all going to work for me someday. And it was the most embarrassing moment of my life. I was just like, dude, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Was this lacrosse? Yeah. <laughs> it was so bad. Although in the lacrosse <laughs> realm, that is an insult. Dude. You're going to work for me someday. And the other yeah. lacrosse There's, team was like, no. What is it? Like, you're going to guide no. my white water rafting company one day, bros. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to work in my paintball field, dude. <laughs> oh. That's I, why do, that I do want to thank Phil Gillis Esquire for all the wealth I've acquired. <laughs> 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 Phil, Dr. Phil Gillis Esquire. <laughs> Law professor. <laughs> Damn, so he hit you with the fucking I'll buy you. Yeah, he is yeah. the old buy is, you. She'll be like, dude, okay, you'll bump. Yeah. How much? I'll take a million bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what I'll do you want cool me to milk. do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah fuck you. What are you offering? <laughs> yeah, what do you like? What do you, I never understood. I'll buy you. It's like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, buy yeah. me, my house. Someone bought you. Be racist? Point, right? buy, yeah, really. What a psycho. She'll be like, wait. There, Don't be racist here. Sl- like, I knew there was white slaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that was. I was never really worried, though, about those guys fighting us. I was really, truly no, never worried. No. It sounds like you were also, I thought about it. I was I worried was, for a I second. wasn't saying anything mean. Dude, but it was such a subtle dig. It was such it a was subtle dig. It was subtle digs. I was not it up there. And you can't argue it. It was an You hit him with a fucking... I've been to pretty games. Pretty much a dirty bomb. You I hit mean, him with a dirty bomb. I've been to it games where guys quarters. are actually talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where guys are like, fuck you. You're sure. a pussy. Sure. Like yeah. that type of shit talking. Uh, we did have the... We were a row above them. That helps. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. helps big time. In yeah, a the fight. Yeah. Liar! I don't believe a word he says. I was just yeah. there, like, I hit. Me. I hit my teachers with that. They're giving me in school suspension. And I was crying. 
Really? And I was like, I'm going to get my ass beat for this, just so you know. Like, I was like, (laughs) Blood is on your hands. I was like, I'm going to get hit for this. And they were like, good. (laughs) My, my, my fucking nun teacher in school suspension yeah she didn't give a yeah fart. she was like you should be hit you farted during stations of the cross <laughs> <laughs> that is devastating the no my friend farted and i reported it because <laughs> i was just scream laughing <laughs> it was during stations of the cross dude and she played and by she was whoever like, smelt the delta screamed, rules she screamed she was like stop laughing get out of here and i was like dusty farted she was like, that's two. That's in school suspension. Get what? out. What? And I was like, Bleh. That was the stations, though, for sister. It was that, stations that of the probably, cross, yeah. That's fucking no quarter given. And dude. I remember I was crying in the hallway. <laughs> and a kid, another student walked by, and I was like, fuck. That was the passion. <laughs> Somebody that was the saw passion. me. It was the passion of the Christ. <laughs> the devil was tempting me. They're like, do you want your dad to beat the shit out of you in two hours? I was like, Ugh. Just burst it so out loud. You got me. That was the belt. I got the belt that day. Did you? Did you try to explain it? Were you just like... He, he Phil took it easy on me. Yeah, he didn't really give me the full belt. He knew it was, it was just pure terror. He told him it was a fart, and he knew what he was doing. He was walking up the steps, going. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was the scary dude. I was like, <laughs> like kicking my feet. He snapped it. He was snapping it on the walk up the. Would steps. you have taken the goblet with Mer in it? I would have suicided. I would have said, "Please get me out of this." That's like what the the. The uh, bear Jew does in uh, in Glorious Bastards. He like comes down the hallway, smacking. He lightly hit me twice. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. lightly. But boy, they were scary. I was, I was genuinely. You know, I joke about squealing. I was absolutely. (laughs) I was shirtless. He said, "Take your shirt off." (laughs) No, I'm telling this. This is pretty dramatic. (laughs) Yeah, dude. But no, he again. He was just putting the fear of God in me. He didn't. He didn't. Stations, dude. You can't fart during stations. I'd be stone faced, dude. We used to lay under. Yeah, the pews right. And hide. Somebody bounced yeah, so far to, off a pew. We figured out that we could not go to first. We would like walk with our class and break off and like chill in the woods and like come and creep behind the church and like come into the yeah, thing. You and were. An, I was not well. a menace like you. Oh, dude. It was, I was never like I'm gonna beat the system. I was always just like really? laughing. <laughs> oh no! If somebody giggling. farted, it was game dude, over. I, I spent no lie. I spent at least. Honestly, I spent probably forty five minutes on my belly in fifth grade on the ground, like the Just whole year. See if class. you could do it. Just I would they were like <laughs> broken up yeah, in like you, ten minute period. You running experiments even as a child. I would military. Crawl. I'm like, dude, this teacher doesn't know that I'm on my belly, and I'd military crawl, grab my cousin's ankle, and then military crawl back That's to my so desk nice. and pop back up. That's and so like, nice. Dude, What's good? The de- the teacher obviously saw you. <laughs> the teacher was definitely like Jesus. Fuck. I don't care. Like I don't care. This kid thinks he's full doing something. <laughs> He's never going to learn this material. Yeah, this is, He's not going to learn social studies. He's not going to learn one thing. Yeah. She opened my grammar book one time. Halfway through, I didn't have a single thing filled yeah. out. And she opened it with, what's this? And I was like, <laughs> nothing. I was like, I did it in my copy book. She's yeah. like, no, you did it. At least you didn't hit the swaths, dude. They're in there. They're deep in every oh, copy swaths. book. The swaths yeah. dude, I, had a ruler confiscated. I had a ruler confiscated. Dude, I, had a swaths I had a tripart <laughs> ruler. My brothers gave it to me. Where it was like those geometry rulers. Yeah. And it was just, I don't know if I That's put it on nice, there, but if it was handed down as a uh, a Hindu fucking artifact, yes. <laughs> it was decked with swastikas. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to fucking hit this kid. I used to beat this kid in class. Yeah, you hit a kid with a swastika. The lady seized the swastika ruler off me and was like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> it was fully Dude, decked today out. you would go to jail. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, it would be God. a live of TikTok It'd be feature. on the news. She would be holding it up in a TikTok. She'd Dude. be sobbing. To be fair, I was the kid was Polish. I was hitting with it. Whoa. He could have been a Jew, dude. The swastika might have just formed itself. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it took place. You hit a Polak enough time. <laughs> scepter, That's dude. not funny. <laughs> I retract that. Yeah, my brother's like, yo, this, this is, I was like, what is this? Like, I don't know. It's this weird three-part geometry ruler, but you can like hit kids with it. And I was like, thank, thank you, brothers. you. And I took it to class and just rode into battle, dude. That's <laughs> like, so nice that you, you, you had weapons passed down. <laughs> Dude, a, give it a hand, a fucking scepter, a swastika That's ruler. So passed sick, down. Dude. Passed down, sword in the stone style. <laughs> Damn, I hey, didn't. Dude. I got not. I got fucking tampons and toilets. <laughs> I'd see him in there. Like, what the oh. fuck is this? They came from my little sister's. Like, ah, my yeah. sister poops blood. Ah. <laughs> They'd be like, actually, it's from our vaginas. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no. You <laughs> beating yourself with a belt. Yeah. Shirt off. Yeah. Just, Dad hit me. <laughs> That's just gross. What is it, son? <laughs> yeah, I was disturbing the first time I went to the toilet. I went, what the mom? Yeah, what is this? Oh, I was, I was disturbed. Yeah, girls not flushing their fucking disgusting feminine products. Yeah, it's gross. That's why they, dude. I'm telling you, the Middle East, dude, own tent. So yes. Don't come out till you're done. Yeah. Seven days, you're unclean. 
that's what they're doing. They're tossing them in. That's what it was back that's in the day. Nice. You, that's to mitigate clean, the fucking yapping, dude. Oh, dude. Those boys figured it out a long time ago, dude. Just get rid of them. They'll seven come days. back in seven days and they'll be great again. Put them in the tent. Yeah. And they'll be happy to come out. They'll be like, <laughs> I was being a bitch. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. Don't put me in the tent again. <laughs> well, we'll see. I bet you in three weeks see you're the, back in that fucking the, tent. That's <laughs> like, look, it's the rules. You're unclean. Oh, that must be so nice. The second she starts being like, we always watch this. The just tent. <laughs> Don't make me count you the fucking Bravo three. The <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. Dude, that book about India I was reading was so fucking funny. Yeah, tell just me the about bobs. the boys. It was just they're talking bob culture. What's the bobage? So they're saying this is the reason they were. It, they were this is also what it was about, but they were kind of explaining like the setup of an like a traditional Indian family in, like in India, where like you're living with extended family. So they said the whole thing, the household is like extended family couples living together. It's fucking real world. Yeah, and you're there, but you can tell by like people's facial expressions. People are gonna stop laid. being friendly and stop being <laughs> fucking <laughs> ve- very real. <laughs> so they're saying like it's a, it's just a very like erotic setup because you're like, damn, dude, my cousin. That you're, is you're, erotic. Like, people are reading each other's facial expressions, being like, yo, they just smashed last night. But then there's this whole temptation with like you have all these it's in-laws like college. And stuff. It's just college. Yeah. Exactly. Dorm. India is? That's what the slums are? That's no, they're saying like the household itself. Like mm-hmm. if you're there in a traditional household, it's you're there with like a bunch of different people. A bunch of couples are cohab uh, co- uh, cohabitating or whatever. Wow. So you're like you might hear a little something, you know. Yeah, you definitely hear something. You're a 14-year-old boy. Yeah, you're it's that they're saying like the household is a very erotic Can setup. you imagine me at 14 and hearing something? That's why the bobs are in demand, dude. They're in a they're That's in why like they're going nuts. It launch starts your career. They're in a crazily char- like a charged up environment. Dude. How how prevalent is the what's that book? Which one? The sex book. Kama Sutra. I wonder how prevalent that is in Bob culture. I mean, it's it's we associate that with India, but I wonder if India is ever like. Are they actually just cracking? We it all open? crack it open. They might. I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, they don't have like the cat. There's not like the strict Catholic guilt. Like it's on. Once you <laughs> once you get married and you're in your back in your dad's house and you bring your bay back there, it's. On. Those Patrick. are the dudes who get horny at strip clubs. Dudes <laughs> with zero Catholic guilt. They go in like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, dude, here, come here, give me a hug, baby. <laughs> You're putting on the big cash. I have the guilt. I go in there. I'm the like, Catholic this is wrong. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be in here. Are you, you all right? right? You leave <laughs> the call center from the the biz cash is on you, dude. You're thinking about your fucking. You're thinking nice about your shirt. like cousin's you dog hop on a fucking moped. <laughs> <laughs> Straight down to the fucking club. <laughs> the club. Let's hit a ball. Thanks, bro. I need to get. I need to, <laughs> Just get real. You come busy. out of your house. You're like, bro, I'm so fucking torched from my house. Hey, <laughs> what? My goddamn girlfriend's mom's right there. <laughs> Talk about boners. <laughs> torch, torch. I said torch. My goddamn girl. Watch out! She kind of come over and <laughs> get choked. <laughs> Try to get choked. Right. <laughs> yeah, the cubs suck. <laughs> Hit the I'm gonna get in too. trouble for that, dude. That's not good. I'm gonna have to take my fucking shirt off and get belted. <laughs> I want my dad to beat me again. Yeah, I want to get like a big dad. So give scary. me one more session. I whoop his old ass right now. I, I might go sesh. home and make, I might say, Phil, well, take that fucking top off. You might you just walk up the steps next yeah, time. Like that, dude, yeah, just I'm give him one. Him. Like, I got one. Let me give you one. I just, owe you one. It was, I, him. you know what is funny though? Even when he did it as a kid, I remember being like, oh, that's nothing. <laughs> really? Oh, that. he's taking it easy. No, he like, he was literally like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't going to fucking, yeah, he wasn't hit you. He was big, dude. That would have been insane. I was in like sixth grade. Yeah, that would have been terrifying. That would have been nuts for him to wail on me. If he put his hips into it, if he turned his <laughs> hips over. <laughs> if he actually was like, whoosh, he would that's have been like, oh, shit, got, my that's bad, That's probably my what bad. he got. What? Big Phil probably oh, got Phil's the dad real a, belt, dude. Turns out his dad was a monster. Yeah. And did attack everybody in the family. Yeah, every like, he dude. was a fucking monster. Physically or just? Yeah, the- he played. He was like 6'5". He played at Notre Dame, cracked his skull at Notre Dame. Damn. Had severe. He was Antonio Brown, <laughs> except in a creek in Mechanicsburg, just like ah, just attacking people nonstop, instilling dude. the Catholic guilt on the people. He oh. was a menace. <laughs> That's fucking wild. Yeah, I've said it before, but he had a heart attack, getting heart surgery. When he came to, he spazzed and tried to attack the nurses, and his heart exploded. Oh. No. Yeah, he tried to fight on the operating table. And his, That's how he went out. He went out like a, I mean, that is a warrior's death. That is so fucking yeah. badass. That's a way to Old go. Oh, Francis Gillis went down swinging. Yeah, he did. What a beast. Dude, I, <laughs> I knew someone who used to get, I used to just get like kicked in the ass and like just the fucking snoop yeah. upside the heads. I knew someone who used to get, their dad would stand in front of them face to face and corner them and just be like, think you're tough? 
Like, no. And they look me in the eye. And they'd be like, what are you looking at? And they go, they would, you go like this the whole time. Hey, I don't like what you're doing. He would do that the whole time. <laughs> and if you blocked his hand, he would go, whack, smack you in the head. And then if you if you kept doing it, he'd, he'd just keep poking you. Oh. So he dude, dogged him? Dude, like it was like, in the, they were seshes, dude. They were long seshes. Yeah. Where it was like, you think you're tough? You're tough. Look at me! Oh, what are you looking at? Dude, it was just psychological Holy total shit. warfare, dude. And he told you about this? I would, I would hear it. I'd be up there just like Jesus Christ. Okay, oh, <laughs> you'd be playing Diddy Kong Racing. I was chilling, just like playing Connects. Like I don't even know how to do these things. Like, <laughs> yeah, Connects <laughs> suck. I'm gonna learn real on. fast. I'm gonna build dude. a fucking Ferris gotta, wheel. Yeah, there's no cell phone, dude. No. You're just you're just beached. You're just sitting there like, no, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, dude's getting yeah, it is tough. That was like a real that was like the real fucking like guys getting beat. Dude, get in the poke and then if you block it, it hurts. This fucking hurts. If yeah. someone does that, then you block it and it's just whack. Sounds like I'm truly fucked right yeah, now. Dudes yeah, there are bros that got the shit beat out of them by their dads. Yeah. 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 And you <laughs> definitely couldn't tell anybody. Which dude, doesn't work aren't... out. <laughs> no. You're at gonna all. be fucked up. Yeah, it's almost like, you're gonna beat the shit out of someone else. Yeah. Whether yeah, it's... it does something. It does something to you. There's no, and it's funny because it turns out like you just don't have to terrify a child like that. Because <laughs> they did, they did that in my social work school. They'd always be like, "Yeah, it's like a thing." Like they, they they had this whole thing where they were like, "It's just part of black culture, and you have to scare the." And it's like, no, it's just lazy, uneducated parenting. Like it's not. It's like you have to scare the kids. It's just, just like, yeah, of course. white people do it too. It's not like the honkies are exactly the honkies do it at a pretty check, prolific rate. Check the honks, see who's doing it. Yeah. It's like, no, these are the honkies that need to be on. It's like, no, they're the honkies. Now, get everybody that's parents. doing it. Yeah, Please. Yeah. Don't well, don't worry about race when it comes to beating the hell out that's of right. They would try to, they would it fucking piss me off, man. They would do it all the time. Be like, and the teachers would be like, oh, yeah, it's totally a thing. And it's like, no, it's not. It's just retarded. It's yeah, retarded they might turn thing. into good athletes from it, though. It might, t- might make a good, uh, might make you a good two with tongue of Ilo. They, they pulled me off the field. They pulled me off the field because of it. <laughs> yeah. Man, exactly. your dad must have fucking kicked you. Exactly. Ass work the, the tolerance is this crazy. It's a missile, dude. <laughs> Boy, you can take a hit. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I used to chat my ass like, "Yo, we if we don't do it, someone's like, no, you're just being a dickhead. You're terrifying a child." Yeah, that's all you're doing. Screaming that's... at a kid is fucking crazy, dude. But I get. I, I mean, I can't even imagine. But I guess I, I would imagine. True. I know. I know me. Yeah. After a while, I'd be like, "Yo, shut up, turn that off." Yeah. <laughs> shut up. If you're in a pressure cooker or the quick like grab, like get over. Yeah, you grab too hard it. accidentally. But that's like nothing. That's like yeah, yeah. That's nothing. You have to yank. grab the shit out of your kid while you're frustrated accidentally. Yeah. There you go. My bad. I'm sorry. 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 You want to watch TV? You want me to grab TV? you? Let's put it back on. <laughs> Some ice cream? Let's put that back on. I was just fucking with you. <laughs> you're <laughs> not going to tell anybody. He's like, what? I was just fucking with you. Come hey, on, man. You're not going to tell your dad about this. But yeah, I used to make me laugh so hard at school when they talk about that. I'm like, dudes, please stop. Yeah. You're not doing anything cool. Guys, let's go. I think that's it. Yeah, let's get it. I think we've reached our time. Good shit. Check out Son of a Boy Dad. Thank you. That shit's great. Thank you. You and Sass are great, great guys. Fantastic program. Very nice of you. Fantastic. Ah, oh, fuck you puppy. Were, puppy. You're fucking walking through those tickly feet. Dude. You're sensitive, bro. You stay? need to walk Can you stay? Can you Tickle torture me. Dude, I got a weird, <laughs> I get a weird feeling in my penis when someone touches the bottom of my feet. Weak. You, you were penis? touching my penis. You don't have a working man's feet. Dude. You were touching you my penis. You don't have callous feet. Those are sit at home feet. Dude. These are these. Are, I am, <laughs> these are highly erogenous, dude. These are so my feet. I told you about the one time I got a pedicure. What happened? The lady was pushing my foot and my dick was twitching. Oh, that's right, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Only a woman's oh touch my can God, unlock he's it. Wearing sweatpants. <laughs> Oh my Dude, God! He's rock hard. Yeah, if I let you t- take on my feet, I get a sensation directly in my penis. Poppy, no. Poppy, poppy, no. Poppy, please. Poppy, <laughs> poppy, no. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> yes. That's good. <laughs>